On this video, I'm going to tell you what you need to look for when you want to buy an air fryer and why choosing a less expensive air fryer may be your best choice. Also, I'm going to share with you what I learned in my 25 plus years experience in the appliance repair business that can help you choose an air fryer that is less likely to need service in the future. Well, it turns out that size does matter when it comes to air fryers. And that's not because you can stuff more french fries in the basket. There is a much more subtle difference. When it comes to air fryers, the distance between the heat source and the food is very important. We discovered in our testing that if the space between the heater and the food was not sufficient, we oftentimes wound up burning the food. And that's why this dude is not number one. The distance between the heat source and the food is simply too short. Also, an air fryer shaped like a convection oven is much more difficult to clean. For those who already own an air fryer, please consider sharing your experiences, good or bad, in the comment section to help out those who watch this video in the future. Thanks! When you are looking to purchase an air fryer, you want to get the widest basket and more importantly, the deepest basket that you can find. And you don't want to get a deeper basket so you can pile more food in there. You want a deeper basket so that the food you are cooking is further away from the heat source. That's going to give you the best results. As a matter of fact, the last thing you want to do is pile food or french fries, for example, on top of other french fries because you're not going to get satisfactory results. At the beginning of this video, I told you that I was going to show you how to save money when you buy an air fryer. And believe it or not, the best way to save money on an air fryer is to keep it simple. And what I mean by that is when you're shopping for a new air fryer, buy an air fryer with the least bells and whistles, just like the ones you see on your screen now. In other words, skip the electronic controls and stick to a basic mechanical timer. Over the years, my experience has taught me that electronic controls fail more often when they are in close proximity to heat. It's not unusual for a replacement electronic control on an air fryer to cost more than the actual value of the air fryer. So save yourself the aggravation and the service call and stick with a mechanical timer. You might think about sharing this video with your friends to save them some aggravation when they go to buy an air fryer. And if you think I did a good job on this video, a thumbs up would certainly be appreciated. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.